Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. As always guys, if you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description below. So anyways, today we are viewing another one of these tropical vibe drinks and this one is going to be on the Sour Sop drink or as it's known as the Guana Banner drink. I think I said that correct, I'm just calling it Sour Sop just to make life easy. So I have no idea what this fruit is or anything about it. So. I did a quick bit of research on it and yes some people use it for fighting cancer help to fight cancer and it and it's uh, quite vastly made it's used in uh, i think a lot of candy and ice creams and stuff like that but as far as i'm concerned as some that lives in england i can guarantee that me uh, friends and family pretty much will have not heard of this fruit but anyways i'm here today to try it and give my review on the drink so anyways Let's give you guys a full 360 of the jar. Now I'm call it glass, jar, bottle, can, whatever, just to make life easy. So this is the 300 ml, so it's quite small. Obviously these are basically copying the Clipso drinks, these uh, tropical vibe drinks, but there you go. So anyway, let's give you guys a little look at the can. So we obviously have the tropical vibe logo on the front. We have pictures of the sour sop there to represent the flavor, looking nice and green there. We have a little bit of description of the drink, which we'll read in a second, and then some very simple basic ingredients on that side. On the bottom, we have nothing, and on the top, we have a simple red cap. So anyways, let's see. Um, so according to the bio of the drink, it's sweet and creamy with an exotic tang. Tropical vibe sour salt will tantalize your taste buds. Keep the vibe alive. So yeah, sweet and creamy. I mean, again, I don't know how stuff like this has been creamy, but looking at the bottom of the drink, it's... it's uh, Yes, yeah, so there's definitely some lumps on there, so it doesn't need a good, a good shake. It's so a creamy. Yeah, it might be. It says creamy, but again, liquid creamy is different to like milkshake creamy. Obviously, that's a different type of thickness. But um, obviously, this hasn't got cream in it. Before anyone asks. <laughs> so reading ingredients. So these are full sugar. Now this one does contain 12 grams of sugar per 100 ml, so it is quite sugary for what the drink is. But apart from that, yeah, there's literally nothing else of interest on the, on the on the bottle. So we'll just give it a good shake. And then we'll pour it into the cup and see what we can find out. So, as I said, I really don't know what to expect here because I've never had this fruit. I've never tasted this fruit. I didn't even know the fruit existed before I saw it on this on this bottle. So, I really don't know what to expect. And I might not be able to describe it because it may taste of sour sob. But, of course, most people haven't tried that. So, most people won't know what that flavour is. <laughs> so, anyways, that's a good enough shake. So, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. There we go, lovely done. Hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks guys. Yeah, it looks like, it looks weird, doesn't it? All right, let's just get a tissue so I don't drop anything on my desk. There we go. Right, so of course these are non-fizzy, so there's no bubbles or anything like that. Um, obviously, creamy-wise, yeah, it, it's it's not creamy, is it? It's it's just a different. It's almost like it's a bit thick rather than creamy, shall I say? And the color, yeah, it's it's like candle wax color, which is like a kind of cream color, really, which is a kind of really really off dull yellow color in a way, I guess. Off or really off white color, really. So yeah, the color's really not the best best looking. It's always just like really dirty river water, isn't it, or something, but there, there you go. Anyway, let's give it a closer smell and see what we can smell of. So it smells of just something sweet, really. But as I said, it smells, I guess that's the smell of sour sop. And the best way to probably describe it, I mean, it doesn't smell that nice to be honest, really anyway so i can't really describe it to anything else but it just it smells yeah it doesn't smell great it just smells of some weird sweet smell and I've, and I've never smelt that smell before but i guess that's the smell of sour salt but it just smells a bit weird well this would be interesting nevertheless guys let's taste some oh wow that's actually oh, oh wow that's actually nice Oh, mm. that's nice. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. It definitely tastes better than it smells. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Oh, 
That's actually nice. I'm gonna have to look into this fruit actually after this video, see what the actual fle fruit flesh tastes like. Anyways, so in terms of sweetness wise, yeah, it seems to be fairly sweet. You know, yeah, it's got 12 grams of sugar per 100 mil, but it really isn't like super, super street, like, you know, some of the American clips I drinks are where they have a, you know, an awful lot of sugar in there. This isn't that sweet. It's sweet, but not that sweet. Um, and in terms of creamy, I can see what they mean by creamy, but I call it, it's, it's more, it's got a bit of thickness to it. And again, I know it doesn't make sense with a, with a liquid drink, but it, it's just, it, it's got more thickness to it compared to like a normal, I don't know, water for example it just feels a bit more thick and the best way to just say that is just try something like this and you'll know what i mean by it's a bit more a bit more thicker but yeah the creaminess to it definitely does make sense uh yeah it is nice and sweet i said it is a nice flavor um it's got a good amount of sorrel sorry not sorrel uh what's it yeah sour sop flavor sour sop flavor in there but it's actually really nice it's really nice for some reason, it's kind of, now I'm purely kind of guessing this off of the title, how it says Guana Banana. It, it's, it does remind me of like the kind of banana family kind of drink. It just reminds me of like banana juice, which you don't get in England. Um, but it just reminds me, it just, the closest realize I'm getting to this is like banana, but in like the tropical vibes var variation of it. Yeah, I think it must be the same. Must be the same family. But I really don't know. I'm only assuming that because it's got banana in the uh, in the title. Again, I did do a quick bit of research on the drink or, or that fruit, and you know I couldn't. I just literally had a quick browse, and you know people said it was used for this and that and make for ice cream and stuff. But yeah, I'd say it's probably closest to, to bananas more than anything else um, in terms of the flavour. But overall, I'm really surprised by it. It's really really nice. I mean, at the end of the day, it's what my taste buds say really in it? it's up to your taste buds what's nice and nasty but that's um yeah really impressed with that mm, that is really nice yeah definitely closest to banana more than anything else it probably is the same part of the same family but i'm just shocked that is that is really nice tantalize your taste buds yeah that my tropical vibes that's actually a surprising nice flavor for one of these fruits i've never heard of before because normally most of these random fruit drinks I try, they just don't taste great at all. But that is nice. And I will happily drink the rest of that. No problems whatsoever. So you know what? I said, I've really enjoyed that. So that does get a thumbs up for me. Really did enjoy that. So yes, as always, viewers, thank you for watching. As I said, don't forget to check that description below. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram or Twitter. Or as I said at the beginning of the video, you can follow me on Patreon. Minimum support is only £1 and that will go towards new drinks, which means new videos for your channel. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll